Hey guys, how's it going? I love cartoons. I feel like this is probably fairly obvious by now, considering the fact that 95% of the scene studies I do come from cartoons or animated movies. I grew up watching a lot of classics like Tom and Jerry and Looney Tunes, and I watched My Little Pony far longer than it was socially acceptable to. But Hilda is, in my opinion, the best cartoon of all time, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Well, that's a pretty bold statement for a show that 95% of people probably haven't even heard of. I know, which is another reason why I like it. It's not overhyped, says the person that is going to be overhyping it for the next 10 minutes. So Hilda fans, here's your validation, and the rest of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, sit down, grab a cup of tea, class is in session. I'm sharing with you the top five reasons why Hilda is a must watch for everyone. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my weekly videos and join us over on Patreon for even more fun. Number one, the folklore. I am all for teaching kids about the mythology and folklore of different cultures. And I think that's one of the things that's really sadly overlooked in a lot of mainstream schools anymore. I do believe that factual history is important to learn for obvious reasons, but folklore teaches imagination and different viewpoints. Hilda is based around a lot of really rich Scandinavian folklore. As you may know, folklore is one of the things that really inspires my artwork, and this show feeds that so well. Of course it portrays more well-known creatures like trolls and elves, but we also learn about creatures like the Mara who sneak into children's rooms to give them nightmares, and the Nissa who live in the empty spaces of people's houses. While the show does take some creative license with folklore, there's still a lot of it that really sticks to its original concepts. I think folklore is a really great teaching tool to put real life concepts into more magical ideas that kids can better understand and relate to. Number two. The relationships. One of the things that drives me absolutely crazy about kids' shows and movies is the entirely unnecessary romance between children. I totally understand that all of us had puppy loves as kids, but kids' shows sometimes take this way too far. Instead of just letting kids be kids and have normal friendships, we keep giving them love interests that are entirely unnecessary. In this show, Hilda just gets to be friends with Frida and David without any romantic tension ever being brought up. This show also handles a single mom and daughter relationship really, really well. Hilda's mom is very active in her life, and while they of course have ups and downs like every mother-daughter duo, the show portrays really healthy communication and quality time spent with each other. But while the kid friendships and the family relationships are great, what I really love most about Hilda is the multi-generational friendships. This show perfectly demonstrates the older and younger learning from each other. I think a lot of times we really overlook how important it is to be friends with someone that's far older than you or far younger than you. <coughs> and speaking of friendships, number three, the woodman. So I'm painting this scene for the creatures theme of my 100 scene studies challenge, and I chose this scene specifically for the woodman. He just invites himself into people's homes to bring them firewood and just chills in front of their fireplaces and reads books. It's great. He is a whole mood. <laughs> He's pretty antisocial for the most part and prefers a guitar and a cup of tea to like actual social interaction. But his friendship with Hilda is so sweet. I love them so much. Honestly, he's probably my favorite character in the whole show. But also Twig. Twig's great. He's the little deer fox on the couch. Number four, the art. Of course, there's an artistic quality to Hilda that makes it truly iconic in my eyes. And that's another reason why I really wanted to do a scene study from it. The design of the show is very simple lots of basic shapes, and a very limited color palette. <coughs> Oftentimes we view things that are more detailed as better artistically, but detail doesn't always equal skill. I think being able to simplify something, getting rid of the added noise, and still making it easily identifiable to the viewer is a huge skill in and of itself. Simplification is one of the skills that I'm really trying to develop this year, and doing these scene studies has taught me so much. 
I talked a little bit about JC Leindecker's simplification of hair shapes in my last video and trying to replicate some of his techniques. For this scene study, I really wanted to try practicing using the limited color palette of the show. Art really is just being inspired by what you see and trying to put little bits of that into your own work. The fifth and final reason, though there are, of course, many reasons why you should watch Hilda. Number five, the story. The folklore characters and artwork really don't mean anything if you don't have a good story behind it. Hilda tells the story of the little girl that we all wanted to be, where every day is an adventure and every person you meet has the opportunity to be a part of it. She basically gets to go anywhere she wants as long as she takes Twig with her, and she gets to do a ton of crazy cool stuff. The whole show is basically a nostalgia for a childhood we didn't live. I think there's a really big difference between a show for kids and a show about kids. This is a show about a kid. Is it geared more towards children? Sure. But I never once felt like things were dumbed down, for lack of a better phrase. It just felt like watching a show about a little girl with blue hair that lives a pretty epic life. She deals with real problems and meets very real characters. The story is 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. I love it. It's so good. So much sarcasm. So much witty humor. I love it. So moral of this video, watch Hilda. You won't regret it. Anywho, let's talk a little bit about the painting itself. I'm not gonna lie, I was super proud of the near symmetry of the walls. They started off wonky at the beginning of the sketch, and I erased a lot. But in the end, I think we got there. I think this is a scene that would have benefited from cold pressed paper because the texture of the paper would have allowed the paint to blend a little bit better and smoothen out into a flat wash of color. As it is, I had to layer quite a bit and it ended up still pretty patchy in some spots, but it's okay. Getting a flat wash of color is super hard for me with gouache. But anyways, I really loved playing around the limited color palette in this one, but my favorite part was bringing in the colored pencils toward the end. Like I mentioned earlier, part of the design of the show is this kind of gritty line art that makes it look like a pencil sketch. So I brought in the colored pencils to try to achieve a similar effect. Another thing that I really like about the line art is that the background elements have a broken line art, so it kind of helps them recede from focus a little bit more. Overall, this painting was a really fun challenge. Lots of struggles, lots of little wins, and I think it was a really fun addition to the creature's theme. I'll be making a video of the rest of the scenes really soon. And speaking of videos, next week is my birthday! Yay! So I really want to do another Q&A for that one. So leave some fun questions down in the comments. So that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint this scene study, and of course, I hope it's inspired you to watch Hilda and adopt it as your favorite cartoon as well. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and join us over on Patreon for even more fun. The support of the Scoop Troop on Patreon this month is going toward purchasing a new sketchbook, because this one is almost full. Anywho, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!